our global business editor, Udayan Mukherjee, joining us now. Udayan, markets continuing to hold fort. Uh, things are looking uh, pretty optimistic as we head into festive season. Hi, Abha. Uh, yeah, it's been a pleasant surprise, this whole ride in the market for the last few weeks. Uh, uh, I think part of the reason is technical, of course, because we've got that $6 billion plus coming in from FIIs through the month of August. Uh, and global markets have all been very strong, led by the US. Uh, so I think we are playing along with the general global tide at this point in time. Uh, and of course, there have been a few green shoots out here as well. Uh, the August auto data, auto sales data and the PMI numbers have been very robust. Uh, uh, so all of that has helped the cause. And I think for foreigners, the biggest trigger has been the collapse in the price of crude and now down to almost $80. So uh, I think all of that has aided India's cause. But having said that, now with the Nifty nudging 18,000 and the Sensex back at 60,000, I think global economic realities have not changed that much. Uh, and uh, while markets can continue to rally on, I mean, you, given technical factors and the newfound optimism, as you spoke about, uh, I mean, we could even go to new highs. But my suggestion would be at this point in time, and this is as at best an educated guess, I could be totally wrong, that this probably is a good time to take some profits off for people who've been in the market. Uh, because uh, again, my guess is that between now and the end of the year, there will probably be another leg down in global markets. I would be very surprised if that did not happen. And investors generally probably will get uh, better entry opportunities into this market at this point, given where valuations are and how sharp this rally has been. There is no way to predict what will happen over the next few weeks. And I, as I said, I could be totally wrong. But at this point, I think prudence probably would lie in becoming a little bit more cautious in your stance and maybe even skimming some profits and waiting how the global tide pans out over the next few months. Uh, as I said, I would be very surprised if we don't get another sharp leg down sometime in the next couple of months. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.